Um, right now you're gonna have to, okay, so let me, I've noticed that almost every single one of my recording starts out with, okay. <laughs> Apparently how I start that. It's hilarious. I'm like, oh my God, did I really do that again and again and again? So, okay. All right. So uh, we are ultimately going to paint, draw this lady on a sheet of canvas, right? like this for painting. But because we're gonna be practicing drawing basics first, I want you to have a couple of sheets of paper, one or two sheets of paper and just a pencil so we can review drawing basics. Uh, we are gonna start by drawing this pose in one minute. So, what, and for those of you who will remember this from last year, you kind of vaguely know what's going on. For those of you who've never done this, just follow with me. Um, so what is, what, what, what do I have time to do? What, I guess, what should I say? What, should, what do I not have time to do if I'm spending one minute with this pose? What do I not have time to draw? The details. What kind of details? Um, her breasts, her. Yep. Yeah, um, her hair or yep. facial, facial. No facial um, features, no features. fingers, no toes. Right. What do you have time to draw? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Just go ahead and get a pencil and paper. We're just starting with a sketch. Um, so what do I have time to draw? I'm going to show you. I've got time to draw something that's called the gesture. And the gesture is literally like if you ran a, st a, a string through the middle of all the body parts, that's what it would look like. So if I'm sketching it, it looks like this. And I'm not so, in this particular exercise, I'm not so worried about, see this? I'm literally drawing that. So if they tell you stick, stick figures are not done in drawing, they're wrong. We do stick figures. However, we do the stick figure that is like related to this pose. Uh, maybe it's more like that, kind of more like that, right? So no head, no, just the lines that kind of run through the middle of the face. So take a, take a second to get those in. And then hold on, where's my nifty figure? Up oh, here he is. And then you'll see that this figure, anybody ever seen one of these? Yeah. They're kind of a, they're like a classic figure drawing tool. You will see that the figure, let's see, I don't know if I can make this figure actually do what she's doing. I can kind of make it do. So I have the figure kind of doing what she's doing. So you'll see that um, essentially this figure, is, hi Natalia, is organized into circles and and really cylinders and curved lines. So I'm gonna start right over the top of my gesture with a shape of the head. And the head is like a kind of like an egg shape, a little bit flatter on the bottom, a little bit thinner on the bottom, a little bit narrower on the top. It's a circle that's a little bit of an egg shape. And then I want you to just follow along and do this on a piece of paper. And then here we go, a kind of a fairly thick neck. Necks are much thicker than you think they are. What am I not drawing? I'm not drawing the features of the face and I'm not dealing with the hair right now. Getting in the body parts first. And then you'll see that there's this kind of circle where the shoulder blade is. And then if you can see on this guy, there's a series of circles going from starting from the shoulder going to the elbow and then the wrist getting gradually smaller right the lot the arm is not a straight line like that or a straight line uh, or an angle line like that it kind of moves into soft rounded edges and then the, the hands are really just like pancake spatula flippers. 
right? The body is basically, here's the waist. The body is basically like a tin can. To, from the waist to here, here you can see the waist, right? And then this are the hips. Once again, we've got these circles, hips, knees, smaller circles, ankles, okay? And then I can sketch in, I can put in the crotch kind of right here, basically just a V. I can sketch in with curved lines. And notice in most places, the leg touches. It does not, there's not very much space between the legs. So in most areas, I have to move my knee over here. You're mostly, it's, there's like a teeny tiny space between but in most, you can't, don't draw the legs apart. Ah, so I put my legs a little too far apart. Really notice this here, it kind of comes together. Here, they come together. There's a little bit of space down here. These aren't exactly proportional. You're gonna learn quickly, but that's not important in a one minute drawing. Right? So essentially, that's where you're going to here. You're following the gesture. And then you might have time to do the outer shape of the hair. You most likely will not notice I'm not drawing every hair. I'm just kind of making this a dark patchy shape. Notice I do not really have time for the boobs. Sorry, everybody wants to draw boobs. You don't really have time for them. So this is what we would call your classic gesture drawing. In a minute, I have time to do this, right? And then the circles for the head, cylinder, cylinders for the body, the upper body, circles, attach, so I want you guys to sketch this out like a gesture. And then I want you to sh send it over to me. You can take more than a minute on this first one, but I don't, don't take much more than a minute. These are not really designed. This is not really designed to be uh, uh, proportionally accurate. This is designed more to be, have you aware of the simplified shapes. So here. I'm gonna take a picture of this. So there we go. So I did not take a picture of, should have taken a picture of the, ah, there we go. Ah, not bad, Andy, good. Good, Pat, excellent. Good job, you guys. Um, while we're waiting for the others, you can see the people who did this last year are qu a little bit quicker because <laughs> they've done it before. Um, and you're gonna get quicker because you're gonna get a lot of practice. Um, I wanted to send over, a, I think I did actually, I think you probably saw these, I'll bring them down. Um, this idea, here's other examples of what a gesture drawing can look like. Hold on, let's see. Sunday, right? Uh, not bad, Nina, not bad. I mean, proportionally not there, but that's okay. That's not what we're looking for. You wanna pay a little bit of attention to proportion, right, yeah. her, you have her. <laughs> She's got, yeah. <laughs> yeah, her hips are down to her knees. That is not actually <laughs> happening, but, <laughs> but that's okay. Not bad for your first one. Natalia, I wanna see more, this is a minute. So I wanna see more inside lines and scribbling. You don't get to, I mean, if you can produce this in one mm. minute, all right, on the next 10. 
you could do it, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm feeling like you're gonna need to. So I'm showing you examples. I don't know if you've seen these, I'm pulling them down from the top of the thread. Uh, examples of what figure, what gesture is really about. The gesture as you can see in these examples is about less about, right? about proportion, but very clearly about the positioning, the movement in the piece. And that is really important to capture. So uh, what I'm going to do next is give you <laughs> 10 poses that will change in one minute. And I want you to try your best to sketch them out. So I'm going to remove the spotlight here. We're going to share the screen, hopefully. That's here. So you could have like one page of paper. You could have a couple pages of paper and just fill up the screen with figures. You can do them small or big. Um, but as you can see here, I'm about to give you time. We want nude models. We want male and female. We want adult. You're gonna see how well you do you're going to do this for 10, 10 one minute poses. Are you guys feeling ready? Yeah. And I want you to let go of results, <laughs> but do your best, but let go of final results, right? This is to get you focused on gesture. So on your mark, <laughs> get set, <laughs> go. There we go. Wow. Oh, yes, him. <laughs> so this is going to change in one minute. You can see there's a little timer on the side here. No pressure. I might sketch out a couple just to show you if you want to watch. I'll do a couple small ones. Let's see. So if I'm Yeah, this dude is crazy. Head shoulders waist see how quickly hands and feet are like flippers yeah there we go so if you want to i'm i'm doing this small so i don't distract you but um if you if you're like not sure how to start you can watch me a couple times i'm going to do it once or twice on my Lenovo tab. Notice you have a y'all have a lot of ideas that are totally wrong about the figure. One of them is that the neck is what you think is thick is thin, and what you think is thin is thick. <laughs> You'll see what we what I mean as we get into this. Oh, didn't get to finish that one. Okay, I think you get the idea.
what number are we on guys anybody know count nope. the figures on your paper no idea can you count the Six figures seven, on maybe? your okay can you count the figures on your paper is that nope. the way to do it i'm sorry i stepped away for a second so i'm not exactly sure how many there that there are Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on eight. Okay, this is eight. Thank you. Now I think we. No. This is nine. There's one more after this. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Uh This guy. Whoa. I make the hip on that. do with him <laughs> just keep going three two one all right stop the arms. share um okay so now i want you here hold on i'm gonna put myself up here I want you to share the best drawing that you did, the one that you like the best, the one that you think is the best sort of representation, um, just one, unless you've got a bunch and then you can take a picture of a bunch, but send them across. I want to see what you did. I don't wanna see what you did because I'm gonna judge what you did. I wanna see just how you're picking up the idea of motion. I want you each to see how different these can be. And by the way, how was that? Tense. <laughs> Tense. Anybody else? How'd that go for you? I missed this. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get into it, it is really fun. What's so fun about it? You have to be, you don't think so much. You just act. <laughs> These yeah, are you great do have, kind of have to let go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. So. This makes you stop focusing on any detail at all, except the biggest detail, which is how is this person moving here? I'll send a picture of mine as well. This is, I only did two, but, uh, and those are great, Andy, love them. Uh, how are you, and for those who are doing this again, so those who are doing this the first time, I'm curious as to see how that feels. Great, Pat. So you just had trouble kind of filling out, getting, had, going quick enough to fill out. True. Yeah. So that's your next, your next step will be to like, I think you should do this. We're going to do this at the beginning of every class that we do figure stuff. Um, so they're not like beautiful necessarily. Oh, actually that is also a kind of a, maybe they are beautiful. I don't know. They're not exactly like perfect drawings. Um, but they focus, they kind of force you to focus on the bigger shapes and, and to pay attention, pay attention. To, to the gesture, right? Those are the things that you need to pay attention to when you're starting with figure drawing. Um, so let's see. Yeah, Nina, not bad. Not bad. You, I can see you also had a little bit of trouble finishing, right? Like getting in the body. This was the, the body. only one I kind of fit. I was thinking yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah thinking too much. So you need to stop thinking. <laughs> yeah, right? I was trying to remember the way you drew the first one. And yeah, then don't, I... don't, you can't, okay. you can't. That doesn't help you. So you're going to practice this. 
This is something okay. that requires practice. Everyone's yeah. going to practice this. So you can, I'm going to share this one more time to show you where I got these. This is a free website. It's called Line of Action. Hold on. How do I get back to the beginning? Okay. Um, it's a free site. I actually pay to have a, um, I have, I pay to have a, a an account because I use them so much, but you can go to lineofaction.com. Go ahead and write that down here and click on the figure drawing tool. And then you can time, you can select nude models is my recommendation, both male and female and adult, right? Cause you want to have variation and you can get them. You can sort of time your sessions. So my suggestion is that you do 10 of these every day. It takes 10 minutes, does not take okay. a long time. Not just you, everyone. I want everyone yeah. to do this because this is definitely one of those things that you can practice at um, to try and get like a full figure, right? The, the sort of sense of the full figure. It doesn't have to be pretty. It can be messy and like with scribbles and things like that in, in it, but uh, you have to stop your left brain thinking. You have to stop it. You don't have time otherwise to do this assignment. So it's a fantastic assignment for drawing, all kinds of drawing. Um, all right, so let me pop us, let me pop us back up here to my tab. All right, so now that we've had, does anybody have questions about that? Before we go on. That last one. Yeah, I had trouble finding the line that was the hip. I can't. I didn't oh, see it. Oh, he was a guy lying on his back with his his leg up. I uh, I'd have to, uh, you okay. know. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, I'd have to see it to do. I yeah, uh, I can't mind. get back to it. Wait, no, I mean, no I maybe I could. Uh, well, I, I mean, yeah, then. yeah. These then. in this position, that's not what this is about. This is about oh, okay. getting better at practicing. This is about like quickly moving through and not spending too much time going over what didn't go well. You want to just sort of do more until you get faster at them. Um, for you've seen this lady is a pretty easy pose. So this is what we're going to paint. So we're going to return to her. Now I want you to put up a piece of canvas which is what you'll ultimately paint on or a board or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm putting up a canvas and taping it cause it's easier. So we're gonna start. So what do you do if you have more than a minute, right? So now we wanna draw this so that we can paint it. You'll notice I have her in black and white because uh, I think the color is confusing so that you can see the lights and the darks. So as I'm going through one of the things that I can do is something that I have you guys do uh, with all your drawings, which is to find the vertical distance proportionally. Now I am actually drawing this smaller, my, my paper is smaller than my things and I'm not gritting. So how do I kind of get everything in the right places? I'm gonna start like this here. I'm gonna put this close so I can really demonstrate this. So, I'm going to start, uh, I don't know if that shows up well enough. Let me try with red. I'm going to start by finding her vertical distance. And to find the vertical distance, I'm going to use the head as a form oh, of measurement. Three, four, Five. So you notice this is the size of the head, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this figure from top to bottom is eight heads. Okay, and if you are looking at a screen, so I obviously have this in front of me, right? I can actually take my fingers and put it on there. You are welcome to print this out on your own. I'll make sure the source is available to you. But if you're just looking at the screen, 
you're going to handle this. Let me see if I can add my, I'm going to add my spotlight here so you can see what I'm doing. This is before the gesture? Yes, if you okay. have more than a minute. Yeah, you're going to find the top and bottom. So, so you can see that I'm like holding my arm straight, right? All right. And so you will up at the Welcome computer back. screen, use this to kind of measure how far down the figure goes. Yep, see how Natalia is holding her thumb out? You can hold your thumb out and put your, like this, right? And put your finger at the top or the bottom. The key is you have to keep your arm straight. You can't bend it in the middle of measuring because that will change your proportions. You need to hold your hand straight all the way down for. So let's actually practice that. Um, I'm gonna go back to line of action. So here, let's see. I'm going to show pencil? you. Oh, Leah, do we do it with a pencil like Natalia or do we just use your finger? Our you can use your finger or do it with a pencil either way. Okay. So have you ever seen somebody at an art class going like this? Yeah, it still makes no sense to me, even though I get. Okay, the stop, idea stop, stop, stop. Listen, listen, okay. listen. So you're practicing it. Stop <laughs> saying what doesn't make sense to you. We're going forward. I get it. I get it. So that's what you're doing is you're measuring right? I'm measuring uh, how long the heads are. So if you want to practice trying that with a pencil, you can, or you can use your fingers. So what happens is the thumb is where the bottom of the head is, and the top of the thing is at the head, is at the top of the head. So you have this okay, marked out with your computer. thumb and your finger. And we're doing what? it on the computer picture? I'm about to give you uh, a figure and I'm going to ask you to tell me how many heads down it is by using, oh, your, by using okay, your hand. Okay. So yeah, now we're going to practice this so that no we can see, because it's hard, right? This is like super hard. All right. So hang on. We're here. I'm going to share line of action again. Uh, is and this I harder want... than the cup? Sorry, is this harder than the cup, Leah? It's harder <laughs> than the cup. <laughs> <laughs> but it will help you with the cup it will help you with the cup Every, everything that you're learning here is gonna <laughs> you guys are so funny all right so i'm not gonna time this i'm gonna stop it no i don't want to exit it i want to stop it okay tell me how many heads now in this particular position you you can go she's about basically about one head up and like, so tell me how many heads lo vertically long she is by measuring. So just hold your arm out or your, or your pencil and tell me how many vertical, how many heads is she from top to bottom? And the first person to have it, shout out the answer. Six. Two. Four. Hold on. I got six. One, I got two, six. Three. I got four, four. Five. Six. Uh, the reason you have six, are you in count A, Nina, are you counting the head itself? I thought I was. Okay, okay, so stop. They're counting, the people who are counting, get six counted on top. So okay, I didn't count the head. Right. So you didn't okay. count the head and you didn't add the area on top of the head. So you're right. From top to bottom, from the top of the hand to the bottom of the leg there, she's six heads. Exactly. Let's try another one. Oh boy, uh, we're gonna skip this one for now because we really haven't talked about this one. Uh, let's try this one. Oh, um, dang it. All right, how many heads vertically is he? From top to bottom, from the foot all the way down to the hands on the floor. Six again. Let me see. One, two, three, seven, four, five, six, six, five, about six. six. Yeah. So we're using the head as the measurement. It's uh, if you grab the head, you go down one. That's like, so that's at the bottom. It's one, two, and then three, four, five, six, six maybe six and a, okay, Andy, I get, I'll take six and a half. How's that? Six, six and a half. Good job. Let's try another one. Okay, let's try this one. Head, top to bottom. How, how tall is, how vertically tall is she? How many heads? One, two. Three, 
Five and a half. Five and a half. Yeah. Five, five and a half. I'd say, yeah, absolutely. From top to bottom. Anybody get a different number? I had six. Six, six. Closer to six. Five and seven eighths. Don't go there. Don't go there. Okay. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Two. I'm, I'm don't make it. Don't overcomplicate it. One, <laughs> three, four, five. I see like five and a half. Five and a half. I see five and a half heads. Um, I'm kind of going. Can you guys see my arrow? Uh huh. Okay. So I'm going from here at the chin up to here. So the head's a little bit bigger, right? Because we're looking at it from this position. So from here to here. The second one comes to about here, the third one here for, ah, okay. All right. Well, um, <laughs> how, we, you know, we, can, we can't really see his head. Uh, how about her? Uh, okay. How many heads tall is she from top to bottom? If we use the head as the source of the measurement, I'm going to say use the head. Don't include the neck, just the head from chin to the top of the head there. I get about six. Let's see. One, two and a half. Yeah. So one and a half. I get eight. Two and a half, three. I got seven. Five, six, seven. Seven, seven, seven. Closer to seven. Uh, it's like one and a half heads up above her. Her hand is definitely, if you look from here to here. So one, so it's one up comes to about here. And then it's like, so it's one and a half, two, and then three, and then four, five, six. Ah, hey, all right, anyway, six, seven, six, six to seven, six to six and a half, I would say. All right, uh, this one's tricky. I don't wanna have you do that today. Oh, how about this lady? How many heads from top to bottom? If you're just counting, let's count from where the racket racket goes. Oh, I forgot the racket. Okay. I mean, it norm, it's confusing because she's holding something and normally they're not. So go up as high as the racket goes. Two, oh, seven? Three, four, five. I six, get eight seven. with her feet. Yeah, uh, yes, se uh, eight. Eight. Oh, yeah. Eight with the feet, right. Notice that the feet, and it's kind of hard to see her feet. There you go. Absolutely, Andy. So it's one up, two, three, four, five. The bracket is more than six, one. Seven, eight. Yep. It's uh, eight. It's one, really. It's a little bit above one, but you can like, okay. it's not, it's really pretty much one. Um, damn it. Get back there. I thought I had stopped this. Okay. Um, so one of the things, Andy, you're right, it's eight. So notice when I remove, notice that her foot is, um, is really the size of her head. So feet and hands are way bigger than we think they are. Mm -hmm. Foot is, um, particularly the foot that's coming towards us is almost as big as the head. So uh, Nina, does that make a little bit more sense now? This is how you do this. This is what you're doing, right? Yeah. You're using that, you're using your pencil or you're doing this to measure. So good job, you guys. I think, does anybody want to practice this anymore or do you feel like you've got the idea? Hey, Leah, Holly has a question. Yes, yes. Just because I'm watching my dad draw this, can I not edit this one? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to edit this one? <laughs> I mean, I will, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna be dealing with stuff as I do it. Uh, <laughs> I would really like you to edit this one if you would. Oh, edit it. All right, putting fine. stuff in. We <laughs> fine. Twist my arm. <laughs> you will forget after a while that they're nude, Holly. <laughs> no, I won't, Leah. <laughs> All right, does anybody want to practice that more or do you feel like you sort of have get the idea of starting that measurement? Do we got that? Does that idea so. kind of make? All right, so let's so, return yeah. to our drawing. Let me put you in here. <laughs> so funny. Uh, let me replace the spotlight. All right, 
So returning here, so I'm not gonna make my drawing as big as this because quite simply, my, my thing is smaller. So how do I make sure that proportionally I get everything correct? I know because I can see it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and change. Do you make those marks on the canvas? Watch me, <laughs> I will show you. I am going to determine totally on my own how big I want that head to be. So I'm not going to measure it from here to here. I'm just gonna decide. And then I'm gonna come down one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I need to make my head just a little bit smaller so that I can get my figure to fit on there. So it does not matter if you match the size of this, if you make it bigger or if you make it smaller. But what does matter is once you determine randomly however you want to, um, what the shape of the head is, then yes, Pat, you make the marks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe I made it too small. We'll see, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I made it too small. I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. I want it to kind of fit on the place. So it doesn't really matter what size you make it, as long as once we determine the size of the head, we use it to proportion everything else. This is it, people, when it comes to drawing. If you can do that, determine one area kind of randomly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, perfect. If you can determine one area randomly on whatever it is that you're drawing, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like remember when we were working on the still life, we determined the top and the bottom of the teacup first the shape and the size of the teacup. And then we use that teacup to determine the size and shape of everything else. That's how drawing works and that's what's working here. So yeah, now we have Pat exactly jumping ahead as usual. <laughs> You've <Me>? got this. <laughs> I have marked out my eight heads. So I, I looked at my size of my painting. I wanted my painting to go from the top to the bottom. So now your job, if you're painting bigger. <laughs> Sorry, Andy, I'm still laughing about this one. So go ahead and I sent that down. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. And this is referenced in the other sheet that I sent you, which I will send down again. So you will see here this really cool, yes, so much harder than the cup, essential. But what's actually really awesome about figure drawing is it's a great beginning class for people who've never drawn before. Even though you think it's hard, it's like actually, cause you have to measure, there's no way to, to eyeball it. No one can. <laughs> All right, so here, I'm going up here to the top. So if you see this um, little handout, which I sent you here, I've got it here big, hold on. This, this is fantastic. This is a Richard Loomis. Um, uh, Richard Loomis was an illustrator from the 50s who wrote an amazing set of books on how to draw. He either drew for Disney or he drew for like, a, his, his, he really was able to sort of deconstruct. Look at here, oh wait, I can move it over a little bit. And you can see that we can use the head 
to measure, right? The vertical distance. You can also use the head to measure things like, oh, how wide is her shoulder, right? How big is her upper arm? It's usually about a head, right? How wide is this space? It's about half a head. How wide is her waist? It's like a head, a little bit more than a head. So you can use the head to kind of proportion other things out as we go through and start to do this. Um, so I love this. I, actually, this is funny though. I always have to tell this story and uh, I'm gonna add a spotlight because you, you need the visuals for it. I have a, a student who will not be named, nobody here, <laughs> uh, who once I showed him this, um, I showed him this drawing and then we drew, I asked him, I, we drew a figure that was doing this. Let's see if I can show you. Bending over like that, right? And when he measured, he, his figure looked like a funhouse mirror. And I'm like, what, what are you doing? And he said, I'm following the rule. With women, it's always three or four heads on the top and four heads on the bottom. So even though you, in this position, you can't really see, <laughs> right? The torso, the top part of the body, he still tried to get like three or four heads in. He was very left brain, psychiatrist, very, very left brain, right? Very used to analyzing and defining and putting words on things. So what I, what I wanna emphasize here is, this is, the rule is not, these are kind of, if this person is just standing straight up like this, that's the rule. What we found as we went through, of course, is that if a person is bent over, you're not gonna see the torso and you're not gonna count it, right? So the rule is how many heads from top to bottom. The rule is not try to fit three heads in the top and four heads in the bottom. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I love the logic of our brains. Um, so here, hold on, just a little aside. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna start with that. And then yes, if you want to, you can lightly sketch in this. These marks are helpful for another reason. They kind of show you where things are. So in this particular case, right? Her head, you could add in the gesture here. Her neck is like down here, shoulder blades come across, right? Her torso goes down to a little bit lower than one, two, three, four heads. So one, two, three, four. So that straight line goes down a little bit lower, right? Cause it comes down to here. And then we've got, this is where the hips start. Okay, and then the legs go down to about here. And then the feet, cut like those little flippers, the feet take up almost a whole, the feet kind of come down a little bit below the last head, kind of like that. So yeah, we can totally, add your gesture in, you may adjust it, but at least you'll kind of know. You can see here, right? That the hands come below head three. So that's one, two, three, the hands kind of come in here, right? So you know that they kind of generally come in here. Isn't this freaking cool? You guys, is this not the coolest thing? Isn't this great? It's actually doable, I think. All right, so at this Would point, I'm going to- send with the measurements? What? So could, uh, would you send the page with the measurement? Or this? The, yeah, that, so I can see it closer. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Thanks. I'll take it now. And I will take a picture of where I am right now. So here are the pa here's the page with the measurements. And then here is my sketch where I'm at so far. Okay. Damn it. There it is. So take, take a little bit of time to get there, to catch up and then send it to me when you think you've got it at that place. Or if you feel like you can go further or faster, go ahead. Um, but I would like to see this structured in steps and I'll be right back, you guys. I'm just gonna go check on Le Hermes.
How's everybody doing? So some of you have had a round of figure drawing with me and some of you have not. So tell me, uh, like I'm curious, for those of you who are returning to figure drawing, how does it feel? Kind of neat, kind of hard, rusty, whatever. For those of you who are new, it'll probably feel really in a way overwhelming. But this is one of those things where we've kind of breaking things down into steps. So just take it one step at a time. Yeah, sketch yeah. this. Yeah. What kind of noise was it when you went outside? Seagulls or? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the air conditioner. <laughs> oh, it sounded like a bird. Oh, oh, those would be, um, those are flickers. They have a very particular loud, shouty, shouty kind of uh, thing. Oh, I've never There's heard of them. Yeah, they're, fan they're like a kind of woodpecker. They're around here a lot. Look oh, up a cool. flicker. Look up flickers. You'll want to paint one. Huh? They're very, um, they're kind of mesmerizing birds. We have a couple that uh, made a nest that were born in a nest in a telephone pole by my house. And Beautiful. they return every year to try and um, to try and lay eggs there. They haven't, I don't think they've successfully managed to do it because the squirrels tend to get them, but. Oh. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they're cute, but they are really cute and they come back every year. And uh, yeah, you know, birds are like, they're creatures of habit. Yes, yes, that's very true. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of interesting bird life around, you know, everywhere there is. Actually, I think there's a big resurgence in birds. I love that about the States, but it's still compared to Europe, you know, like very, there's a lot of wildlife. Yeah, we haven't been here. There haven't been big numbers of us here decimating it as long as in Europe. That's totally exactly. true. That's totally true. Uh, but the, the sort of flip side, and on the West Coast, it's even more than the East Coast, right? Because there's more population that's been there longer, the West Coast. But the difference is the West Coast, it's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> you know there are things that the can eat your powerful. yeah there are things that can eat your cat um i mean muka muka spent two coyotes. years living in a croatian forest and then one year living in a brooklyn brownstone and then she moved here and i remember the first time she went outside she just flattened on the ground she couldn't believe it she was like the trees were huge the birds were massive like an eagle could pick her up and scoop her out it's funny. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, in Croatia, she was definitely top of the food chain. We lived in a little forest and she just brought stuff home constantly. <laughs> but come on, buddy. You want to come up? Say hi to everybody. You can. And she had a fun childhood. She had a great, she's had a great life. Even with Hermes, she's had a great life. <laughs> Hermes in teen pregnancy. She's had a great life. <laughs> That's right, buddy. How's it going, guys? Okay. Slowly. Does anybody want me to go to the next step? Oh, I see. Let's see. Okay, stop. Okay. Um, so Andy, I think we're, you've gone ahead a little too fast to me. Got that, that, get down. Um, you know what? I'm, give me one minute. So Andy, I feel like you've gone a little too fast and she's too skinny in places. Um, I want you to go back. And I also think you've got her head too thin, maybe two, three, let me check four, six. Nope, proportions are correct. Um, She's a little bit, her arms are too thin and her neck is too much sitting um, a, atop the shoulder blades. Her neck actually comes down into the shoulder blades a little bit more. So look at those spaces and let's see. Pat, her, I don't think her hips are in the right place. Two, three, yep, not in the right place. They're at head four. Okay, hang on. I got to take this cat out of here. I'll be right back. Come on. Three, two, three. 
Uh, let's see. I'm looking at Nina's too. Okay. Well, I'm looking at the picture and it's like three and a half down. No, honey, it's four, including the head. You're, you missed the head. Four. One, two, three, four. That's Look at it. Pubic, it pubic hair is it? One, oh. two. Yes, but that's where the hips are. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, Nina. One, two, three, four. Okay, yep, looks good, Nina. Looks good, 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 good. Um, I mean, does that, that doesn't look right to you, does it? Like, uh, this is the waist. Well, it looks funny the, to me, but- The I, hips I, I are here, I, I, right? So, so, so pay attention to that visually. You knew it wasn't quite. Andy, one of the things I want you to pay attention to is to look at where, so I'm gonna start talking about structure, how to do the outer shapes now. And then Andy, I want you to correct based on me, me showing you guys some things. So we start with a shape of the head. That's kind of egg shaped, right? From top to bottom here. And the neck is, like I said, this kind of cylinder, like it's thicker, way thicker than you think it is. Um, so when I determine how, why, so this actually is a little bit misleading. We want this to kind of come through the center of the figure. So on this side, if I'm trying to determine how far out the shoulders go, I use the head as a measurement. So the shoulders come in a little bit, before they're not, they don't go out farther than one head on its side, they come in like this. And it's the same, I'm pretty sure on the other side. I know you kind of can't see it because the hair is distracting, you know, is sort of in the way. So you wanna make sure that your shoulder is no more on either side of this line is no more than like kind of one width out. And then notice I often find that sketching in, ah, yes, maybe I'm just trying to see what's the quickest, easiest way, maybe here. So I'm gonna draw a line from here to here. So one of the things you see is that this uh, arm comes down just a little bit lower than this arm, okay? But the other thing we can see is how many heads wide is it to the elbow, out to the elbow. So I'm using the head here, the measurement, it's like one and a half heads. So I'm gonna find, and this one is purely two heads. So I'm gonna come here right below, let's see, one, two, right below the second head measurement about here. I'm gonna draw that line. And I know that from this side, it's gonna be one and a half heads. And from this side, it's gonna be, am I right on that? Two, two heads. Yep. So this side sticks out. So you see, I'm now getting my vertical distances. One, two, yep. And this is one, this is like one half. So I'm now finding where things go out to before I try drawing any other shapes. It's interesting, isn't it? How kind of scientific it is. Now at this point, you can also draw the hair. Now notice that your head shape includes the top of the hair. So I'm gonna add my hairline in here on the top there. 
and then I can come out on the side like this. And I'm not drawing every hair. I'm just literally drawing the outside shape of the hair. And I notice that the hair comes down just below the second head on this side. So see how I'm getting that shape and I'm not even coloring it in because I'm gonna paint that later. There we go. So the hair kind of comes down like that on that side and maybe like this. The hair comes kind of right at the second head here. So it kind of stops, comes in, stops here. Notice I'm just doing outer shape. I'm not really, I'm not doing any sketching. I mean, I'm not doing any detail work. I'm not drawing like single hairs like this. Please don't do that. That makes me crazy. <laughs> Looks awful. Um, also notice that there's this kind of almost a triangle, almost a triangle, a triangle with a straight line on the edge, right? On the inside shape of each arm. So as I'm coming down here like this, it's often easier to sketch out the negative shape rather, see that? Rather than what I'm, the actual thing, I'm sketching this shape. So I'm gonna do that on this side and this side. She's mostly, although she's quite slender, she's mostly um, pretty straight here. She's actually so slender. Comes down a little bit below, boom. And then the hand comes up and over. See how that works? So I'm never, made that too big. Right? So, and then to double, to really double check, I can see how big is her waist? And her waist right kind of above the hands is like one and a half heads. So if I've got that, yeah, I think I do. If I've got that, then I think I've got these shapes right and everything else. See that? So I'm gonna take a picture of that Yeah, there we go. And now I'd like to see you guys get to this point. Wait, Leah, did you say her waist was one and a half heads? Yeah. No, on its side. On its side. On its side. <laughs> okay, I was I was counting that as one head. Okay, great. Well, measure it and you'll see. Mm. It's not. She's thicker. You see my point? She's uh you think she's she's very slender, so you think her waist is thinner than it is, right? She's um, slender in the arm. She's got almost no fat on her. So you think she's slender everywhere, but in reality, right? Some areas are thicker and some areas are thinner than you think they are. So you have to let go of your idea of what you think is happening versus what is actually happening. It looks great. By the way, Nina, it looks great. Nina, I want to really credit you. Your um, drawing has improved dramatically in the last month. Dramatically. I would say you went from zero to 180. Your, your ability to draw has really gone through the roof. So good job. I'm seeing your work. I'm seeing your progress. It's very fast. Okay. Well, I'll give credit to the person who's instructing me. So Aww. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Marie and me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you're following directions really well. And that's, are you starting to see what I mean by there's a whole other logic system here? 
It's yeah. logical. There's nothing illogical about this. It's just a different logic. Different things are important. Shapes are important. Distances are important. Proportions are important, right? But yeah. what a thing is, it's not that important. What something yeah. is, is a different set of, a, d discussing what something is, is different than what it looks like. Talk about that. Like, talk about that for a profound statement, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, what you think you're seeing, you're not. So I really found when I started to learn to draw, how much I projected everything. Uh, Which all humans do. All yes, humans human do. Nature. We project and we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> That so I, I, I never know what I'm talking about. I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> I think most of us are really there if we want to be honest. Um, but what yeah. I think is really beautiful about this is when I started to draw, I became much cleverer about assessing what was actually going on because I just found that I automatically kind of looked for visual cues to help me, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I still and battle in my head, but it's gotten a little bit easier now. It's a, so. it's a battle in your head. That's exactly it. It's a battle in our heads. So your battle, you're just more vocal about the battle in your head. Everybody else is experiencing the same thing. They're just, you're just, you're just saying out loud, which is really helpful for us so that we know what is that, what that battle is, right? Yeah, it's the battle between left and right brain. And as you get more attuned to the right brain, it's going to influence everything. Okay. That's I found thing. that I became a much better writer once I, I began, once my drawing clicked into place. There's a visual side to drawing that people just don't get. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a visual side to writing that people don't get. And I found that I became a much better writer. I never struggled to see the uh, write a lead again. I never struggled to write, I'm, right, I'm working on a grant right now, a $100,000 grant right now. I, I mean, it's not fun, but I'm not struggling with writing the way I, I used to before. And I was a professional writer. That's what I did for 10 years before I began to draw. So it was interesting to me that my writing got so much better. Well, that's good. Though I think grant proposals are a different skill altogether. Oh my God, so. it's awful. <laughs> that's, also, that's they keep asking me the same damn question. <laughs> Like at different times, like they all, they keep asking the same question in like five, the same question in three different ways. So I'm like, I totally have already answered that question in detail here. Now you're making me restate it again down here. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> I hope you're not really saying that. I, I would not really say that. No. <laughs> no. I know, I know you might, Liz. There you go, Pat. There you go. All right, so we'll deal with this. Looks in pretty good. Yep. So one, two, one, two, three, two, three. Good, Pat. Good. She's not. She's kind of leaning to the left. Her body. Uh, she's a she's tiny uh, leaning. I think she's standing straight, and she's kind of slanted. No, yeah, I mean my hip. drawing. Oh my yeah, drawing yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, touch. Yeah. I think her. Um, Hands need to, uh, can you dip? Oh, this is what's wrong. You missed this space here. Can you see where I'm pointing? Yeah. You missed, the, you have this as a point. You've drawn this as a point like this. Done. I'll show you. This is what you did. You did that. Oh. You drew that. Oh, I forgot right? the wrist. There's actually, you, there's an actual, her hand is pretty big. And there's a kind of, so this comes out a little bit. There's a, at okay. the bottom, it doesn't go straight in. Okay. The hand is huge. Look at her hand. Her hand on this side is like as big as like her facial features. And we don't even see all of it from the wrist to the fingers. It's like up to here. It's easy to dismiss the hand, not want to deal with it, but it's very, uh, it's huge. Let's see. Oh yeah, I don't know if anybody saw how it went in Marie's class, but it was great.
Okay, Andy. <laughs> So you see the problem with where you got to. We'll be able to like, can you erase this a little bit more? Get you can see when I erase on the gesso, all it does is make that really blurry. So I okay. tried to make those lines. So yeah, lines yeah, yeah. So just do, um, yeah, so just, just do what you can. Yeah, I've just um, made the lines really heavy. and. But also look at this. I want you to look at this space. Look at how far down her, her armpit is from her shoulder. See oh, that? Yeah, I, I had just done a stick, really a stick. You've on done a side. stick thing. So I really want to see this shape sketched out, actually. Um, and I think I'd like to see you try this with a charcoal pencil so I can actually see what these real shapes look like. So can you take a charcoal pencil out and sketch over all that junk? Try. Thank you. So you can see why I didn't want you to rush, right? because uh, there's a bunch of things you miss in this construction. Um, I'm like really slowly walking you guys through this. So uh, does anybody else, and you're doing great, by the way, everybody's doing great. There, we are in no rush to start painting. And in fact, we might not even paint till next week. So it, depending on how much time we have, we might like actually. Uh, and Sandra, how's it going over there? Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm beginning on VIs. Okay. Th just um, let me know if you want me to look at anything. Thank you. I'll yeah, I will send it to you in a little while once I've done the eyes. Well, once yes. I've begun on the eyes. So Pat, I want you yeah. to look uh, a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more, which means you're probably going to have to bring this line down. See Say that? Say that one more time. You're going to have to bring this line a little bit. You have your line here like this. So if you really add in this line, this arm line is going to have to come down too. To be able to, so you're right now. Oh, the, okay. And the arm itself. Yes, the top okay. of the arm itself and probably the bottom of the arm because you have to move the top of the arm. See, to get this shape, you have to bring this down. You have to move this as well. This okay. is what happens. You get all, one gets all attached to their lines and then you don't think you can move them. <laughs> right? Not you personally, one. I always like to so say- true. You love your lines so much you want to marry them. What is that? Like, <laughs> so uh, really being an artist is not about getting it right on the first go. Being an artist is being able to change things uh, as needed. Hey, and Andy, I might actually have you uh, gesso in your once we get the shape of the arms, the uh, negative space here with charcoal, I may have you take some white gesso and gesso that shape in so we can see it. What does that mean you gesso it in? Oh, come on, Pat. You know what gesso is. I thought it's, it was the, what covered the canvas before you painted. Yes, it's paint primer. So he can go over with his dark marks with a white gesso to oh, back out again. Oh, even when you're drawing. I never yeah. That. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're hard on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I am hard on you. Only because I'm, I, I'm hard on the students, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to be so hard on you. Oh, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Pat and I have known each other a long time, you guys. <laughs> a long, long time. I was looking at that lately. It's been a long time. It's, it's been, been a long, long time, time since I left Open Studio. It's been a long time, right. Yes. I'm not sure. Tell me if this is right. Just... Okay, send it over. 
How's it going, everybody else? Joe, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since you've done this. It's Take a picture so and send me this where you're at. Such an easy pose. I, it's funny, but you know, it's been a while. It's like yeah. riding a bike, right? That's why I figured we just spent today. Uh, it's better, Pat, better. There you go. Okay. Although uh, this line, um, this line is a little bit more, you have it kind of more curved and it's really more straight. More straight, okay. Actually, even kind of at a diagonal a little bit. Okay, we're kind yeah. of a boom. Yeah. yeah, it's so interesting, isn't it? So what's the first thing everybody wants to draw with this figure? It's the face and the hair and the boobs. That is what everybody wants to draw first. I think it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, our obsession with boobs is like massive. I remember I used to do figure drawing uh, studio sessions in, wherever I lived. And when I lived in Croatia, I had a friend who had a young son who was six at the time. And he, we would come to figure drawing classes. We'd have a big model and this is how he would draw his, this is hilarious. This is how he would draw the model. A model standing like this would be like this. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> really? it, was so, it was so cute belly like that feet <laughs> hey sally oh, but it really to... shows it really shows like our focus right this is what a six-year-old sees when he sees a woman <laughs> but it's not that far away from breastfeeding so. right right exactly and yes so it's just it was just it was so cute i've never forgotten it we had a couple of really wonderful models um and uh and uh and the model was like really slender like this one and he drew her like this <laughs> Oh my God, it's so thinking. fucking cute. <laughs> it's really, really cute. Let's see. Oh yeah, Andy, see, there you go. That helped. So see, he took a little bit. There we go. There we go. Andy, so try not to color in so much, right? Try to do more outlines because we're going to be painting this. So the only other thing is, when this dries, I still think your arms are too skinny. So you're going to let this dry. We're going to return to this area. Look at how, look at this. It is the size of the face, really. The face is like kind of right here. Your arm, your shoulder, from the top of your shoulder to your armpit on either side. It's like much taller than you think it is. There's much more arm there than we think. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the next step here because I wanna get us going. So we know, let's see, one, two, three, four. So we know that the crotch is kind of below four, head four, the bottom of head four. So I'm gonna kind of sketch that in as a little triangle on its side. And this is kind of the widest area of the person. So it's a good place to once again check if you've got your thing hip coming out from here to here, right? How wide is it on this side? Definitely a full head, right? And same on this side, a head on its side, I should say. So. I can see my hip needs to come out a little bit further. At the bottom of the triangle? No, at the right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think I need to bring this out a little bit more. So the hips kind of come out here and here, and then you've got, we've got this shape. We haven't really gotten into the hands yet. It's a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and then here's where it gets interesting. So I like to get in my little thigh gap triangles here. It's 
teeny little diamonds. That's pretty much it. See those? So I'm getting these in so that I don't make my legs too far apart. Let's see. So that's one. So this is like, yeah, upper thigh. And then down here is where the knee is. So here things are together. And then right below here, it's again. And then the calves come together. And then down here is probably where there's the most distance. There's actually a space, slight space between the feet. Wait, I don't think I got that right. So, Yeah, there we go. So you see, I'm starting the shaping. With these little points. So then it becomes much easier to bring in my other figures. Uh, let's see, Natalia looks pretty good. Two, three, four. Okay, so your um, uh, crotch needs to come down further, Natalia. So the belly button mm -hmm. is a little bit below three, right? One, two, three. So the belly button is kind of here. Mm -hmm. And then one, two, th three. Four. The crotch is below head four. You have the you have the top of the triangle, I think. Here, hold on. Let me check. Ugh. Come on. One, two, three, four. Yep. You have the top of this triangle. Mm -hmm. Here. This is where you put it. Okay. Let's do. See high. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you need to bring it down below the fourth head. Mm -hmm. And then that, and then you're not gonna have that awkward looking line that doesn't look right. That's not really happening, you know, mm -hmm. going up to here. Cause there's nothing really going up here. There's something kind of going up here, which we're gonna sketch. Okay. Got it? Yes, thank you. That was short cutting. <laughs> but otherwise great otherwise great i should be i know i never lead with what you guys are doing great which is so many things Hey, Leah. Yes. So you did something that I was struggling with. So, mm -hmm. um, so I look at her wrists uh -huh. and I look at the angle and uh -huh. I look at where the actual angle occurs in the wrist to the forearm. Yeah. Right? Are you talking then, about right here? Uh, right, except on the downside of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It comes down a little bit lower. So right where your pencil is right now. Yep, right, right? there. It comes right up the, a little bit. Right there. And yeah. then I dropped a vertical line down. Yeah, uh, it shouldn't be a vertical line. It's no, no, uh, just in my imagination. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Drop a vertical line down and then use that line in relationship to where the hip is. So when so I look at, so when I look at the drawing, I mean the photograph, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I see a, a gap. Um, yeah, between like this line and the hip, yes. That line never, the line, if you were to drop it down yeah, vertically, yeah, like this. Never, touches, never touches or even gets near the hip. Yep. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's two millimeters, like, <laughs> like away from it. Right, yeah. no, but it's, yes. but it's like, a, it's really, it's, because my, my first tendency was to draw the, the wrist closer to the hip, but then- Yeah, 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 no, you wanna pull, absolutely. So Andy's doing a technique called the plumb line. 
where you look at what exactly is under the body. Yeah, absolutely. So this comes in just a tiny bit to the left. Good job. That's right. Yep, there we go. Nice. Yeah, great, great observation, Andy. And oh, wait a minute, it's looking blurry. What's that's like really nuanced, right? Because she's got this whole kind of dark thing happening with her wrist here. In fact, as you did that, I realized I need to bring my, I need to stop being married to my lines and bring my lines down a little bit more. Yep. Good observation. Wonderful. I was wondering what was wrong with this arm and why it looks so skinny, and now I got it. Thank you. It was that. It's often in those corrections that you kind of figure out what's actually happening. Good job. Yeah. And then of course we can kind of, maybe if you want to try and finish the legs on the outside. Now remember at the knee, we have a, a plane shift. So we bring our leg down to here and the knee is a little bit like a box here. I mean, if you really want to be anal about it, which we are, we're being anal because we want to learn, right? And the hip comes out on this side and then it comes in and gets narrow. I feel like that's a little bit, maybe I brought the knee down too low. The knee is right at two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the knee is right at six, kind of a little bit above and a little bit below. This one is kind of facing you directly. There we go, that looks a little bit better. This one is kind of facing a little bit to the right. On this one, we can actually see the shift of the calf above the knee because of the way the knee is positioned. So really it's kind of, they're not right next to each other. This knee is kind of pushing out like that. And then that means this is happening and then this, and then this has to come down a little bit more. Remember, feet are big, so much bigger. So much bigger than you think. I think that's in pretty good shape. We'll get into anatomy and such more. I'm also teaching figure drawing on Wednesdays. So if you can pick up on this, it's evening, it's late for you guys, late for people on the East Coast here. And then the last thing you're gonna do, once you get those in, is to sketch in the dark shapes, right? The dark, we don't wanna color them in. We just want to get the dark shapes on each side. 
So by the way, what direction is the light coming from? The left. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how can you tell? The dark shadows on the right. Yeah, the dark. Well said. Perfect. I couldn't have said it better myself. Of course not. It's good because you said it. <laughs> I didn't though. Yeah. You said it. You said it. <laughs> I've trained you. <laughs> Do you see how I'm getting in these super dark shapes? Do you see how I'm also not really worried too much about the fingers right now? I'm getting the dark shapes kind of outlined. And here is where I can start, by the way, to kind of outline the breasts. Finally, finally, says everybody, we can do our breasts. We can, we can. So there's shadows. I'm starting with actually the shadows, the dark areas. Yike. And then without getting too much detail in the face, I'm going to put down here kind of a line straight down the center. So we're not going to be able to get much in the face. Not bad, Andy. Better. So we need to work on that extra nervous scrubbing that you're doing with your pencil, right? I want you to be a little cleaner in your lines. So I know what you're doing. It's a lot of this, right? It's this kind of like, I used to do it a lot too, particularly at the beginning, I was nervous. And so I would kind of scrub over and over and over again. You wanna be careful not to do that because we're gonna put paint on top of this and we wanna make sure our paint doesn't really, you know, we don't get too much paint into our um, into our pencil lead into our paint. It's going to sort of mess up our, I mean, we'll be able to cover it up, but we'd prefer not to have it. So I can, I can start gessoing that stuff over too, since I have it all out. I think that's a great idea. Do it. There you go, Pat. Even her along. hippo legs. Well, you need to bring things in a little bit, right? You need to just, it's narrow little suggest things that are going to turn this into uh, okay. from a thin person into a hippo leg person.
right. And this is kind of where we want to get to, to begin painting. So maybe we will. Or what we can decide is to take a break at this point and work on other paintings. I'll let you guys decide that. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Let me go out and check on my little four-legged child. It's interesting, isn't it, guys, how methodical this is. Now, if you want to add features in, they're going to be very small. The features come, let's see. So from the, the eyes are at the exact halfway point of the head, including the hairline. So that's like here. You're not going to be able to get them. They're very, everything's very light. You're not going to get much detail in. Don't even try. Nose is halfway down between the chin. The bottom of the nose is halfway down. And the mouth is in that last quarter. So I wouldn't really worry too much about features. Because you're not really going to be able to fit them in. We will, if you want to, after this, we will work on, um, we will do a portrait. We can do portrait painting, which of course will start with drawing the face. But this is about as detailed as you're gonna get. We're mostly gonna be focusing on the patterning of light and dark on the face. So let's see. Leah? Yeah. Hmm. Dogs. They have round pupils or like oblong pupils? Round, I don't, right? I don't know. I don't know. I think it depends on the dog, doesn't it? No. Hold on. I don't actually know the answer to that question. Um, okay, Natalia, that looks better. Uh, Nina, she's too thin all the way around yeah she so is. i think you need to erase the arms and the waist 
Remember, her waist is like one and a half heads on its side. So start by getting the waist to the right place. And then you'll be able to get everything else. Okay. Okay. But good job. Actually, quite honestly, good. Ah, Joe. Good. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so Joe, you made the same mistake Natalia did. Here is where head four ends. Crotch is below it. You put it up here. All right, I kept moving it. Yeah, no, it's down it. below head four. So um, other than that, this looks pretty good. So I think once you get the crotch in the right place, it's going to help you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, also, this she's eight heads. Yeah, I, my, I keep coming up with less than that. No, she's eight heads. Trust me, look at it. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't know where you're coming up with less than. So move her crotch down to where it needs to be. And then yeah. you're going to be able to put her legs, you're going to be able to add that extra head on. Oh, oh, Andy just showed you a picture of his dog's eyes, Sandra. Oh, let's see. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, who is that little stinker? <laughs> so they look round, don't they? They look they round do. to me. Yeah, what that's, thank you that's very much. Toby. Hi, thank Toby. You. You're He's so cutie. cute. <laughs> I love thank you. Very you. Much. Toby's like, I know everybody loves me. Yeah. No, I know it. I am loved by all. I will allow the picture to. Uh, yes, just I know it. I know it. Uh, right to my publicist. They do look round to me. I have one more. Just I don't. Oh, see thank this. you. I'm pretty sure they round. It just initially I can't, can't quite see them, but I think I need to put them in. One, but at first I made them like cats. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Pat, this looks pretty good, but the feet are too short. So, the feet are too short. Okay. Yeah, you need to bring them out. Look at the shape of this. You did this. This is what you've done. Oh, okay. It's like you um, did that thing to the, you know, what did they, what did the, um, what was it called oh. in China when you break all the toes? And oh. <laughs> this is what you just did to her feet, right? I'm That's sorry. what this. <laughs> sorry, <little girl. laughs> it's looking pretty good though. <laughs> I wonder, is her waist thick enough? Ah, Andy, that looks great. There you go. Um, Get the shape of the hair more thick. It's like, it's a bigger shape than what you've got right now. Andy Good. or Pat? Andy. Okay. Good job. Good job, you guys. And Pat, I was thinking, I was thinking her waist is too small, too narrow. Yep. Okay. Her waist is too narrow. So it's really one and a half heads on its side. which will help you. So the hips and the waist will come out just a little bit. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Make the waist the correct, and then you'll see kind of where you need to put the hips, which come a little bit out from the waist. Whoa. Ah. 
I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to get political. There's some great political news out there right now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a good one last yesterday. Oh, yeah? That must be. Yes, maybe it's the same thing we're thinking. It's so funny. We're all like, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying the name. It's like Voldemort. <laughs> That's right. I, wanna, I never want to hear the name again. We don't want to evoke it. <laughs> I guess I missed something. Oh, I'll just say it. Trump got banned from Facebook and Instagram for two years. It's fucking yeah, awesome. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I did not know that because I tend to not pay attention to, I'm, I'm a little bit more spacey on the news so well they talk about it on the view i usually know that yeah <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, um, it's going to have to be longer. Otherwise, it was, it's going to have to be longer because we're always going to set him up for the election. Yeah. But we'll see when we get here. Yes. Sorry. Anybody have any exciting summer plans? No. Oh, Portland Do people. You? Marie and I are going to hold at least two. We're not going to teach them, but we're going to uh, have some we're gonna invite people out to plain air paint with us or just hang out on Savi Island one day, probably in August. And then we're gonna do a figure drawing session in my backyard. Uh, these are not gonna be classes. Um, they're, you're just gonna be able to come and 
act like an artist. Uh, but we thought it would be a great way for us to be able to get together. So uh, figure drawing in my backyard in July and um, a, a plein air painting session out at Savi Island in August. And anybody here who's not in Portland, if you can get here, we'd love to have you. Savi Island's pretty beautiful. Normally a milder summer than anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, yeah. Yeah, that was before uh, global warming yeah. kicked in. Maybe I'm gonna send it to you. It's okay. Seen not quite right. The eyes are not quite right. I haven't worked on the nose really yet. Can I see the source too? Just so oh, yes. we're, yeah. I realize it's too, it's too light still, but, and the eyes are way too light. But. Okay. Oh, I actually might be going to Croatia. <laughs> <gasps> really? Yeah, Where in Croatia? Yeah. Where, Zagreb or the coast? I wanted to ask, have you been to Rovinje? I have, it's, it's gorgeous. Be, it's gorgeous. Yeah, like the city of artists and it's stuff. It's so and amazing. And if yeah. you stopped, if you stopped by Zagreb, I would totally put you in touch with some friends of mine there. Oh, <gasps> that would be awesome. Yeah, so you tell me if you know, and I will, uh, I will put you in touch on Facebook. Um, because I still have a lot of friends there who are really wonderful. It's a great, oh, such a wonderful. That's so fantastic. I yeah. will think, I'm thinking about it pretty seriously. So. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yes. I'm yeah, thinking you should meet. To... Sandra, this is great. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been disgusting. <laughs> who is this little guy? <laughs> He's a French bulldog who belongs Ooh. to... <laughs> a gay couple friend of my brother in uh, Montreal mm -hmm. and um, his name is uh, Milo. 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 <laughs> Love him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, proportions look really good to me. Uh, let's see. One, two. Yep. There's two eyes between eye spaces between. I think, you know, you just have to go in with your darks now. Yeah, I just need to do dark, including in the eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. In including in the eyes. But I like how you preserved them so you can get that. God, he's fucking awesome. <laughs> now that dog has a personality. Yes, and then, he does. My question is, uh, I like these pink, these sort of muted shadow colors you put in the ear. Uh, it looks like Quinn red and maybe a little bit of green. So I admit that um, I'm very bad at mixing still. Okay. So I used, uh, it, it has a grisaille underneath, so part of it is that. Okay. The pink is actually uh, Michello red brown, very, very, with a lot of water. Okay. And then I added uh, some, um, Paint on top of that, some of the Daniel Smith shadow violet. Oh, okay. All right. It, it um, seems to be working. So you'll just want to get darker in there. But I think he looks ready to add his darks in. And I love the body. I love the colors of the body. <laughs> He's just so cute. I mean, if you wanted to, you could get like a little grayer down in here. Okay. Because really everything, if you want to cut him to really sort of appear to be pushing forward, the light's really hitting him on the top of the head. I need to go much darker. Yeah, but I was thinking browns rather than grays, maybe. Yeah. Or... Yes. Joe, you got it. There you go. Because, you got it. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah browns. Uh, well, I would mix a little bit of blue and brown together or a little okay. bit of uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue to get that kind of grayish color that's down there. It's great, okay. though. It's wonderful. Great work. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. Boy, you really, 
you've really found your, uh, you knew it. You knew it. You knew that going this direction was great. Yeah, you got it, Joe. So, but you know, um, hmm? it's not, I'm still doing much better work in pastel. Of course, I'm... you haven't been doing watercolor that long. Just imagine how your watercolors will look when you've been doing them for a year or two years. How long have you been doing watercolors? Like three months, four Since months? Since January. Yeah, you know, so six months. So it's really, you can't measure progress really until you've done something for a year. You know? I, uh, there's a cat that I did, one of my old previous cats. And I did it in the watercolor. And then next to it, I put the pastel that I did at the time, um, which um, I wasn't as good as I am now in pastel. Mm -hmm. And it's nowhere near as nice. Yeah, right. You'll know. You know. Um, let me send it to you. Um, Joe, I still feel like her, her, uh, I still feel like you need to add a little bit of length onto her on the bottom. I feel like she is, uh, so I'm looking here and I see one, two, three, four. So remember four here on the heads, the, this dark triangle is below four, head four. You still have it at head four. See that? You still have it exactly at head four. It's below head four, which means you then need to add another head down here. So you're still one head short. Doesn't it look like it? that you're one head short. I want you to remark your heads and you will see that you're one head short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're at seven heads, you need to be at eight. So that means that you've scrunched her up, up the bottom of her into, let's see, one, two, three, Four, she's really four heads from the bottom and you've scrunched her into three. So you're almost there. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see it. Big, big, yes. I mean, yeah, it's improvement. Well, not really. No, no, the watercolor is above anything. No, not, I no, know, I but so I'm saying you've made improvements since then, but you're really not gonna measure real improvement until you've looked at what you've done in a year. And then remember, it's gonna be another year, you're gonna have other massive improvements. So I like to really think about art as a long game. I don't think about anything before a year. I'm like, if once I've been doing something a year, I look at it to see how it's going. But if I've been doing something once or twice, I don't, you know, I know that I still have a lot of work to do before I've, I've locked down that thing right i must say i'm getting very frustrated with mixing colors i have no idea well you just have to practice it it turns green instead of brown you just you're just too heavy-handed with it oh much better nina much better i think you're um the bottom she looks great two three four Six, seven, eight. So she looks great from the bottom. I still think her arms are not out wide enough. So her okay. arms are really, if you look at it, one and a half heads. So if I draw a line below her breasts, mm -hmm. right? Like I've done here. And okay. I look at the halfway point, I can see that she is two heads on her side to the elbow the outer elbow. And on here, she's one and a half heads. Okay. Okay. okay? So you need to yeah. rework, but you don't have to rework anything else, just the arms, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. There you go, Pat. Now she doesn't look like she's had her feet chopped off. <laughs> feet are much bigger than you think they are okay so now go ahead and add in the shadows on her the dark areas and With very light 
you're going to sketch, you're not going to shade them in, but you're going to draw them in the shapes. Of the oh, oh, okay. okay. I knew that. I was testing. <laughs> job, everybody. Are we using watercolor? No, oil. Oil. Mm -hmm. The name of this class on, on Sundays is officially oil and oil or acrylic painting. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, but of course, Sandra's working on watercolor because that's what she wants to work in. And, and uh, sorry, I'm confusing you guys. <laughs> not at all. You are not confusing us at all. Um, Those of you who are just waiting, I, I, I'm not, I haven't decided whether we're actually going to paint today or not. We might do a base. Um, but for those of you who are just waiting, I would recommend that you call up, um, pick a line of action on your, uh, start practicing some quick figures right now. So if you're not working on your drawing and you're still waiting for painting and you're waiting for me to instruct you, go ahead and uh, pull up line of action and uh, do a little bit of figure practice, drawing. They don't have animals like that, do they, Leo? They do. Oh, really? They have a whole animal section. In line of action? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. They do. You should go check it out. I will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, Andy. Better, better. Significantly better. I think she looks pretty good. Have you outlined the dark parts of her so that they're easier to see? I can see it a little bit. I don't really see it on this side. I see a little bit here. I see it here. Okay. Dad, so yeah, so Andy, while you're waiting, I want you to call up line of action and do some practice uh, one minutes because I don't want to get to, um, to painting until everybody's done but I want you to keep practicing these ideas. You can, if you want to, you don't have to do any one minutes, you could do a 20 minute, maybe try to do another pose just, just for practice. But I want you to practice that while we're waiting. Cause this is an MC, I, I was sneakily snuck in drawing for you guys into the painting studio. That is what I did. <laughs> uh, it's better. Let's see. So the waist is thicker. One. Okay. So the other problem you're having, Nina, is that the elbow is below. You have the elbow on the right is below, is below this, the breasts. See that? You have it above. Oh, okay. okay. And you also have it way too skinny. R really try to create this shape. I'm gonna take a really close picture of it so you can see it. Here's your negative space. Your arm doesn't go up to here. 
which is how you have it right now. The arm doesn't go up to here, right? Which mm -hmm. is where you have it right now. Uh, the elbow comes down below the breast line, below the bottom of the breast. Elbow comes down here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So every time you don't look, it's obvious. I can see it, right? It's funny. Every you, you've got all these great constructions happening where I see you're working really hard, and then you're like, eh, "I'm just gonna put her arm in," right? And I'm like, "Uh, -uh. <laughs> I can see. You can see it. This is a really good drawing. So take it the extra mile, even if it exhausts the hell out of you." Yeah, my brain is getting tired, so but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'm trying to tire it out. I can't, I'm really trying to tire you out. That is my whole goal because then once you're tired, you stop fighting so much. It's and actually- You don't need to work out. Yeah, that's great. I'm not gonna and, work out now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't need to work out your brain. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Is Keep her breast line right below like the first, second like in the middle of the it's kind of in a little bit above the middle of the second headline yeah okay her breast the top of her breast is at the second head but the bottom of the breast is below that yep yep good eye okay. i know it's all like so frustrating I just feel drowsy again. That's it, like sleepy. <laughs> uh, get up and get up and uh, get up and splash some water on your face, or yeah. or uh, have a quick cup of coffee or tea, or shoot some heroin. I don't know. <laughs> it, is that you do to wake yourself up. <laughs> it is sleepy in the afternoon. And Sunday and, afternoon is about to kill And it's you, right? And it's of course later for you guys. It's uh, two thirty for us. It's closer to. 5.30 for you. Yeah, it's close to five. I must say, Maria, it's very enjoyable, this watercolor. Isn't it nice? I don't know what it is about it. But... I think it forces one to slow down. And the mark making of watercolor does, a, the watercolor itself does a lot of work for very little effort in the sense that, you know, one stroke has so much texture. So if you kind of work with that, it's relaxing. Yes. You know what I mean? Relaxing. It's, it's relaxing. Um, and at the same time, it's not easy. It's kind of a bit unexpected, you know, sometimes. You never know quite what you're gonna end up with. But I guess it's very meditative. Yeah, I just think it forces you to slow down. Whereas we tend to kind of, um, we tend to kind of uh, 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 rush through other things, right? So this, but watercolor really isn't a rush through. You, you just learn really quickly. You can't, it's not beneficial to rush through. But at the same time, it's faster than pastel, I guess. At least for me. Well, because you because one stroke does a lot. Your mark making mm. is very yes. is much. It, yes, it creates a lot of texture. Um, Pat, great. <laughs> Thank you. Got it. I do. Yeah. She looks just kind of pudgy there in the middle. Well, I guess that's her real body, huh? That's her body. I mean, I think you, let's see. Nope, that's it, you got it. Her hand is a little bit bigger. Hand kind of comes down here and covers up the, you could, okay, so I'm just looking here, slight thing. So you've got a little bit of this going on, on that side, you could go straight down down that's and okay. unpudge her oh, out man. a little bit right it's yep yep work. it's tiny little things it's tiny little things this is actually great these are great you guys are doing great and nina for somebody who's never done this before i want to just say i think you're the only one who's not done this ever 
uh, with me, you're doing great. So even though it's like exhausting, <laughs> I'm like, this is well, that made all the difference. Mm -hmm. well, it's very rewarding. So yeah, it is right. It's worth it. Like it's like it's working out your brain. <laughs> there, yeah, which there which you is go. A little lower. Yeah. So the lower. hand also has to go lower, right? Oh, the hand yeah. also has to go lower, right? Yeah. Also, the last part of this shape, the hand is much bigger than you've made it. If you look down here, you'll see. This is like the outside shape of the hand. It's a curved okay. line like this. So right now you have more this thing going. Uh-huh. Right? The elbow comes in yeah. here and it's like a triangle. In reality, the diagonal comes down here, and then there's a little scoop up, which is the hand, which is the the sort of side of the hand. Okay. Hip yep. hand kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. it comes down. Look at how far, look at it, it comes down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You'll get there. And it's the same thing happening on this side. So there's also a little scoop. So you drew your triangle like this, but really mm -hmm. there's a little scoop here that shows the wrist. Okay. Right? Coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you're getting there. So Sandra, what did you do with your watercolor that you weren't happy with with the boat? Nothing. Really? I mean, I, I just, thought it was good. It was <laughs> I mean, there's nothing it. more I could do to it. I just wasn't happy, but there's nothing more I could do to it. I just left it. As it was. Did you figure out what you didn't like about it? What you weren't happy with? Um, uh, yes, I hadn't quite figured out how to do the reflection of the water. I now have a better idea. I've watched a video on it. And uh, I think the boats probably were not as detailed as they should be. At least the first one was, but not the other ones. Yeah, I've now got a much better sense of how to do the water. Um, it wasn't great. It's, it's, it makes me feel a bit like I, when I started out watercolor, you think it's going to be easy and it, and you're very unhappy with what you end up with. But every, with every painting you learn, so. Yeah, yeah. And it's maybe a different style, like the next one you do, right? Well, you should, yeah, you learned yeah. a lot. You learned a lot in each one. Yeah, it's different because it's water and it's also um, a landscape. I'm not very good at landscape. I took a picture of, but my brother had taken of Menorca, which was absolutely stunning. And I tried to do it in watercolor and it was an absolute horror. Um, watercolor is not easy, right? So. No, it's very hard. I find it. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in art. Um, I find it easier than drawing. <laughs> to do well, though. To do well. Oh yeah, watercolor is like really, really yeah. But I mean, to, to do well, to do well in watercolor, it maybe it's like easier to kind of lay down the paint, but for, for to create a good. Prada. So you think you can draw because essentially you have to draw in watercolor. So if you don't draw in watercolor, your watercolors, you know, don't turn out well. So are you telling me it's easier for you to draw in watercolor or is it e than with pencil? It's probably because I prefer loose watercolor. So I do wet on wet a lot. So uh -huh. I don't need to draw much. Uh huh. Oh, interesting. There's, a way, there's a way around it for me. <laughs> but I agree. Drawing is the foundation for any. Drawing is the foundation. Oh, that hand is too low, too high. Where's Diana? That's a good question. She doesn't always make it on. Oh, she tries to make it on Sundays. Who knows? She's had such a shitty week. Yeah, she does. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. She advised me to use these little sponges, you know, and I had one. Yeah. And the cat took an unholy interest in it the other day, and now it's, I can't find it anymore. I've looked under the sofa and under the fridge and in the cat's toy basket, but right. it is nowhere to be found. I reckon it's been stolen. Oh, I've got a chipmunk. Oh, in the garden. Cute. I've called him Vongoli. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the last time I saw a chipmunk in my garden was like more than 10 years ago. Oh, and I watched him and he went over the fence and I thought, good, I can now release the cats. And 20 minutes later, one of the cats was bringing him in to the dining room, carrying him delicately for a right scruff of a neck. And I managed to make him release, and and I know, and they went into the garden. I never saw him again. But hopefully, Aww. this guy will be okay. Can I ask you like a question about creating like um, an image that you paint? I had a discussion with a friend of mine, and um, he was saying that you should have more than just a basic scene or just one still life to make it more interesting with people or is that just like a, a personal preference do you think? I think if you can't, uh, I, I just think it depends. I think I've seen really beautiful still lifes where that's all it is. I think if you're a good painter, you can paint anything. Um, yeah. I just, and I think, I think, I think compositions can be too busy and that most artists aren't that good with people. So, so yeah, I often find that the people are distracting from but you know like it can be you can't it can work i think those kind of rules are sort of absurd quite honestly i think it's silly i think it just depends on i don't think there's any hard and fast rule and i think you can make anything interesting so i think it just depends on how you do it and what you know how you treat it i mean like like I said, I know painters that just do stunning still lifes and that's all you see is a still life and it does not matter. That's all you really need. I, I often feel when I see people in like a landscape shot that it, it looks wrong. And it's usually because of the skill of the artist. They can't, they can't get the shapes right. So I'm like, why put that in there? <laughs> if you can't get it right. You know, if you can't make it right. Uh, there was a guy who applied to Portland Open Studios like three or four years ago. And I looked at his, he didn't get in. And when I looked at his work, he did these stunning landscapes, really detailed watercolors. And then he would put these people in them really tiny and it ruined <laughs> like the things. And I actually called him and I said, you know, I want to tell you something. No one's going to give you this feedback. Your landscapes are beautiful. Your people ruin them. And because he just, they were too, they weren't done in the same style as the landscape. They were dumb little cute anime sort of, you know what I mean? Like sort of feature, they just didn't fit together. And he was like, thank you. No one ever says anything like that. It was really helpful. <laughs> good for him. I know, right? Yeah, well, that's good to know. It's, I uh, always think, it's, sorry, it's personal preference, I think, like you said, and unless someone's good, you, you know the difference. You know the difference. Yeah, you can totally fuck it up if you clutter things up too much. But then other people like paint it really well. I mean, if you look at a Richard Estes watercolor, you can't tell the difference between that and a photograph. He's got lots and lots of detail. By the way, I wanted to show you guys something that I just noticed on this uh, figure here. Hold on. Because everybody's been struggling a little bit with this shape here. And I want to show you how standardized this is because Richard Loomis 
also put it in. How do you spell Loomis? L-O-O-M-I-S. Okay, thanks. So look at this lady. Look, the same thing is happening. Can you see it? Oh, oh sorry. Wow. Right yeah. here. It's exact same thing is happening here. Scoop down like this. See that? Oh right yeah. Here, coming down like that. So that's a pretty standard way for a person's hand to rest, right? Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. all there. Okay. In case you think that's some weird thing she's doing with her hand. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do self portraits of yourself, Leah? Or does anybody? Oh, tons of people do. I haven't. Oh, here we go. Here's a great example. Look at this. What do you think of this painting? Oh my gosh. I really like it. It's what great. a boring still life. <laughs> Really? <laughs> right? I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm using your friend's rules and going, who what the fuck do you know? <laughs> There's a fantastic still life, right? Uh this is a, a, a oh this is great. This is a so here's the original. Uh she's a what her name is Sarah Sedgwick. She's in Salem, Oregon. And so she starts with a pencil drawing like this and goes into marker and gouache and then turns them. There's her kind of base. And then look at, that's how she ends. Isn't that neat? So she paints over the pencil markings? Yes, she does. Okay, so you the can marker shade markings. with the pencil and then paint over it. Well, it's better to do it with marker than it is. She, actually, she paints over marker. Oh, okay. She okay. paints over marker, which is different. The problem with lead pencil is it mixes in with your paint. That's the problem with lead oh, pencil. Oh, oh, it I, mixes I in know. with your pain and it kind of makes it murky and mucky. So sort of heavy, all those heavy lines um, can be problematic to deal with. Um, by the way, guys, we have about a half hour left. So my question is, do you want to uh, get your paints out to do one little layer? Or would you rather like uh, wait until next week? So, so mm -hmm. Lee, I have, I have a question with what you're saying about lead with lead pencils. Mm -hmm. um, if we were to do like a, a watery underbrush undercoat, would that reduce the chance that the pencil will get mixed up with the with the paints? I mean, the more layers, the better. But you'll see, Andy, because you suffered from this today. What happens as you layer paint on top? Yeah, I mean, eventually you can kind of get over it, get it, get away from it. But it's a good idea to to know when to use it and know when to not, right? Layer it on so thick. So uh, what Pat was talking about with Sarah Sedgwick, if you look at her bases, these are markers, right? This is a marker base. That means like it's not gonna run when it hits water. I mean, yeah, yeah, Andy, over time and with many layers, you can get better at it, but it would be nice not to have to deal with it. Right, it would be nice to have cleaner, cleaner lines. So yeah, I mean, we'll be able to fix it. Don't get me wrong. Just it may take a couple of layers. Um, so my question is to you guys, do you want to get your paints out to do just a tiny bit of painting? Or do you want to just keep working on figure drawing? still not happy with my figure so I'm I'd okay like keep to working keep all right then I would say what else what anybody else have any opinions about this I mean I guess not everybody's done with their figure so maybe we should bring painting in next week I think oh that's right I'm gone next week oh you are darn yeah um <laughs> but um well the video, the video will be available great. Yeah. The video will be available. So my recommendation when we start a series, which takes several weeks, is that you just, uh, if you miss, so for Catherine Hickson, who missed this class, I would actually recommend she do the video before she come to the next class, right? So that she can get her drawing done. Um, uh, yeah, Joe, I would just say you can pick up the video. And yeah. then we'll and then we'll go on to the next. And you know I'm available. You can pop me a note anytime if you're working. Yeah, I'm on drawing. I, I can can stay drawing for today. Okay. okay. I would say let's stay drawing. So in fact, maybe 
what I would do is I'd, I'd like to see you guys pull up. Um, I can't, I mean, I guess I could put up a second, you know, actually, hold on. Ooh. Oh yeah, Andy, I totally read that. The Barate Moriso. Um, this is really cool. Andy just posted a couple of really great articles uh, from the uh, New York Times about art, which I would highly recommend you guys read. I haven't read the second one, but I've totally read the first one. Um, I'm wondering if I can pull up another figure for you to draw. So for those, let me see if I can do that. Let me see if I can. I can't, if I add the spotlight. Yeah, so can I pull this down? Do you guys have enough information? Those of you who are working, do you need to look at this big? Yeah. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay, then I cannot put up anything. So if anybody yeah. wants to practice drawing, you got to pull up your own models. I can't, I can't. No, I said I was through with it. Oh, you're through well, with yeah, it. Pull it down. Pull it oh, down. Pull it down. Okay. Chat, right? All right. So watch this. Let's do that. Yeah, it's in the chat. So watch this. Let's do this. Go ahead and do her. Okay. Or wait, let me find a better one. <laughs> these guys. I'm pretty sure these two are married. There are these really phenomenal ones. That's a pretty neat one. Um, but I was hoping, I'm looking for one of these old, they have these vintage porn. Here is, I'm just gonna have to shift through till I find it. These are neat. Um, hold on, we'll get there. Actually, wait, nope, shit. Wait, wait. Actually, what you want to try this one? Because it's pretty simple. What is she? She's one, two, three, four heads down, including her head. Go ahead and try that. With the and I will take a look at it. So yeah, just practice drawing and we'll go to painting next week. Joe, where are you going next week? At my niece's graduation over oh, in Walla Walla. How cool is that? So, actually, I think we're going to the party because I don't know that they'll allow a big crowd at the graduation yet. <laughs> right. So, yeah. uh, is Sonia practicing and we just can't hear her? Not right now. Oh. She was she must doing be a hair project today. Her oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is the most creative human I think I have ever met in my entire life. She just lives her projects. Yeah. And she always, uh, yeah, every once in a while she adds one more thing. So <laughs> four or five instruments now. And <laughs> She's amazing. She's really, I, I was really thinking about that when you were like, yep, Sonia's had the year of her life. Yeah. Like, right? Cause she's just got to stay in and do projects. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's awesome. Exactly what she was going for. <laughs> yeah. Leah, is this arm on the left better? Let me see. Let's see. Oh yeah, great. Okay, I so now you want to do it on the, yep, you got it. So now okay. you want to do it on the right. And notice that the one on the right is is down. It's, per, it's sort of lined up. So now you can do that on the right. Okay. Wait okay. a minute. You said the left, right? The arm on the right. left. Yes, the Not arm on the left, left arm, is great. You got left. it, you got it, baby. That's it. That's it, my dear. You've got it by Jove. You've got it <laughs> by Jove.
I appreciate how seriously you guys are taking this. You're doing, you're taking this very, you're really working this image quite hard. I don't seem to have a middle ground. So. <laughs> it's one or the other. Yeah. Oh, I still have a card and a pair of earrings I made for you for your birthday. Oh, yay! I really well, was tiny to, to come. <laughs> I'll have to. Um, I'm still going to come up there for a cup of tea and. Yes, and to get your easel, or I'll bring it yeah. to you. So that that would be great. I would One of those it. two will happen. Yay! Got about 15 minutes left in class.
Say, there you go, Pat. You got it. You got okay. it. Bravo. Oof. Ready for painting. All right. Oh, nice, Andy. Great idea. Nice, 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 nice. See, Andy wanted to get that out. So you used a Gamsol and uh, burnt sienna. If I had burnt sienna, I would have used that. I had transparent oh, red oxide. Trans so I, I forget. You've got transparent red oxide is actually better. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's the prettier pigment, more pigmenty, more darky pigmented. It's uh, better. Nice. That's perfect. So Should we do that have, before next class? Sure, if you want to. If you that want to, absolutely. Yeah, it'll dry. If you use Gamsol and burnt and paint and in that light wash like Andy did, it'll dry in 30 minutes. It'll dry quickly. We don't have to worry about the pencil underneath it. Well, oh no, it's, I mean, it looks like he's, yeah. So you mm -hmm. wanted to see what would happen, right, Andy? Uh, exactly. With the paint. And you know what? I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna really be good. I like it. I like it. All right. And I love this. Oh, Sandra, there you go. I'm not finished yet. I, I know. Haven't finished. I haven't done the muzzle. You haven't done the, the mouth yet, but it looks wonderful. Oh. And you're getting his eyes in there dark. It's great. The He's eyes. He's a cutie. Have it. He really is. I love the ring. Wonderful work. What? Yeah, I think we've lost you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Great. So next week we have abstract painting on Tuesday. That's our second abstract art sort of intro class. And this one's going to be on design, like ha composition, really. How to sort of know the difference between a good and a bad abstract art composition. Uh, there will be some exercises. But ah, Leah. You know. hmm. Sorry. Could you, I mean, I, I think I might take some of these classes, but can you add me to a thread, please? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of course. If anybody wants well, to. Well, at least I'll right be reminded now. when it's on. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. no, let's do it right now. Absolutely. Oh. Leah, can you add me to the Tuesday class as well? Because without yes. the reminder, I also forget stuff. You got you, it. You can throw me in there too. You got it. I think you guys were really, I think this is a really fun class. Um, and Which class is where there? they're all going to look different. What's that? What day this is where? That's Sorry. Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. Uh, our time, uh, 6.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Tuesday. Do we need, need any materials for this class? It's pretty loose. So if you want to, you should go and listen, go to the first class where she talks about materials. But really, you just need kind of a heavy paper, like watercolor paper, so acrylic or watercolor or gouache paint and some pencils is kind of the standard. Um, but she reviewed a whole bunch of different really cool, like she uses clear gesso, something she reviewed during the class. She uses coffee grinds. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Uh, she uses, uh, you might wanna go and review the materials class on the YouTube channel just to see what she, she went through. But yeah, it's very loose. It's just whatever you got. Um, and then this week we're doing composition. So um, it's really quite fun and relaxing. You, let's see, uh, I might be able to grab that link. Let me see if I can get that. Oops, let me, oh, I guess I can't grab that link if you guys are working on this. Is, can you still see the body? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, after class, I will send the link across to the YouTube channel. Maybe I can do it on my phone. This is where I start to feel really old. <laughs> Let's see. Do you guys?
guys all know the art class channel? Do you all have the um, YouTube? I mean, yep. The YouTube, and it's yeah, great the YouTube you, channel. Do you have that Patreon oh. open yet? No, uh, God. I, uh, what basically happened, <laughs> I was supposed to have the YouTube, uh, the, the Patreon open. It's probably not going to open till fall because <clears throat> there's a bunch of things I have to do on YouTube before I can open Patreon. So um, that has been put off just because otherwise I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> you guys don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple shows I had to get into. Um, so YouTube, we're now, I'm now aiming for a September launch. Sorry, Patreon, I'm now aiming for a September launch. And YouTube, we're going to start doing live demos on Friday afternoons. Um, I don't know, starting maybe in, uh, in July or maybe late June. We'll see as soon as I can get that together. Um, I think that's going to be really fun. Um, I just catch. Yeah, I'll just send it after. After class, I'll send it to you. Heard that. Thanks, Leo. All right, everybody. I'm going to pull down this. Uh, here, I'll take a picture first and send it across the thread so you can keep working on it if you want to. Uh, you're going to have a picture of me. I, it's brighter, so you might actually like it. <laughs> also, there's a picture of me in the background. <laughs> There we go. Let's see. Meow. 
There it is. Nice job, Natalia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting, right? Because she's kind of leaning forward, which means a little bit of what's happening to her is like the, here, hold on, I'll pull off the, um, a little bit of what's happening to her is she's, um, she's going like the road, right? Because she's moving up and away. So there's a slight narrowing of the shoulders and the uh, hips at the top because this part is pushing, this part is going right like this. So it's going away from us and up. So it's interesting. That's a really challenging. Um, I thought you guys did amazing today. I thought you did really, really great. So anyway, I think I started to say we've got abstract art on Tuesday. We have um, figure drawing on Wednesday. We have um, uh, be, it's sort of uh, drawing fundamentals, beginning drawing on Thursday. There is a watercolor mm -hmm. class on Friday. Uh, there's another beginning drawing class, but drawing fundamentals on Saturday. And then Sunday, we've got pastel landscapes with Marie and, um, and uh, this painting atelier. So uh, we will see you guys to paint this thing next week or whatever you want to do next week. And hopefully I'll see you before then. <laughs> and Natalia, yes. you must be really, really tired. I'll just... <laughs> Tiny a little bit. bit. <laughs> it's like 11.30 at night there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In Poland. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Have a great week, everyone. Wonderful work. Bye.